You want to see my I... new pet? What'd you get? Look, I, I got a bet. Is it on the ship? Not yet. I'm, I'm going on to the ship now. <gasps> what? Skeletons are attacking me and my pet. What'd you get? What is your pet? Did you cage a pig or something? No. Parker. Why would you, you think you that? Not. I would never do that. I got oh a new God. pet. No, you did not. <laughs> Parker! That's my new pet. I'm gonna call her Betsy. Oh my God. What? No. Hey, what is up everyone? In today's video, we're talking about how to cook in Sea of Thieves. Cooking is an essential part of the Sea of Thieves experience, and understanding how to do it is important in giving yourself an advantage in the game, and just having something else to do. So let's first talk about what you can cook, and then we'll talk about how to do it. So currently you can cook almost any animal in the game. Pigs, chickens, sharks, snakes, along with krakens and megalodons. Also, you can cook fish that you catch. Next week, we'll be talking about, in another video, how to fish and all the things that go along with that. So be sure to check that out if you haven't gone fishing before in Sea of Thieves. Pigs, chickens, and snakes randomly spawn on most islands, so you can head almost anywhere to find food to cook. Krakens and Megalodons, on the other hand, you can get meat from them after you defeat them, and the pieces of meat will float up in the piles of loot that spawn. So the same place that you get all your like treasure chests and stuff from defeating them, it's in that same little pile. You can also get meat from sharks, which you'll find them swimming around in the water randomly spawning. That's the least convenient way of getting meat, but that's a way you can get it as well. Eating cooked food will grant you bonus health that you can use to regenerate your health bar if you get damaged. You can see how much regen health you have by seeing how full the circle bar is. Once you fill that circle bar up, you can't fill it anymore, so you can only have a certain amount in your reserve. When you take damage and lose some health, after a bit of time has passed without being damaged, you'll be able to start regenerating your health, which will deplete that circle bar. This is really essential when fighting since you can only store 5 pieces of food on you at a time, so cooked food will not only heal you like regular food, but it will also add that regen health so when you're fighting you will most likely outlast any opponent in terms of health. This is especially good like when you're doing like pistol fights underwater and stuff and you see the other person like having to heal a lot. If you don't get hit for a while your regen health will start healing you instead. Now that you understand why it's important, let's talk about how to actually cook the food. After you get your meat, you need to go to either a campfire or a stove on your ship. At a campfire, you will have to have a plank to build it, and then raise your lantern to light the fire. Place your meat on the stove or campfire, and make sure to keep an eye on it. It will burn if you leave it on for too long. Each piece of meat takes different lengths of time to cook. Chickens, pigs, sharks, and snakes will take about 60 seconds to cook. Kraken and Megalodon meat will take about 120 seconds to cook. Regular fish will take 40 seconds to cook and trophy fish will take 90 seconds to cook. You will know your food is ready when you see it turn golden brown. You will also hear the sizzling sound change letting you know the food is ready to be picked up. It's important to listen out for this change in sound when cooking while doing other stuff like sailing as this will help you avoid having to go down and check it over and over again. Especially if you're someone that's solo slooping, you can't be at the grill the whole time watching it because someone might come up and attack you, you might be in the middle of sailing somewhere and you could run into a rock if you're not going up and watching the wheel. All sorts of stuff could happen. Not only do different types of meat differ in cook time, but they also differ in how much they heal you. On screen you can see all the different amounts of each piece of meat and how much it heals you and adds to your regen health. This chart is very helpful in understanding what pieces of meat you should pick up and which ones you should leave on your ship or discard when you see them. The same goes for fruit. All different fruits have different values of health. If you don't know much about that, there's another video you can watch here. In general, cooked fish will give you the least amount of health added, while cooked megalodon and kraken meat will give you the most. I hope you found this guide helpful. 
Like I said before, if you want to learn more about how to fish, which is probably going to be the main thing you cook, as it's the easiest to obtain while doing other things, that video will be out next week. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and keep an eye out for that video in the near future. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Bye y'all.